Hi everyone, my name is Bruce Schwartz. I really appreciate the support. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for subscribing, the generous contributions. Um, I can't ask for anything more. That's what I want you guys to view what I'm seeing on the surface. It's, you know, a lot of findings that are very controversial, but very revealing. The mountain, sinus iridum, this is part of it. And the mountains are reflective. Why are they reflective? I don't know. The north side, you see that object? Even though we don't know what it is, it looks constructed. Now, here's what's bugging me. You see this drip? See this blur? Symmetrical blur, I call it? Everywhere? Pan up, like it's just going through the whole surface. That is what people are not noticing. And that is constructed. It's not natural. It's elevated off of the surface. See the lights in the center? I'll get a close-up view of another shot of it, and I say lights. It just, I don't know. Is some kind of energy being created on the surface of the moon that we have no idea of, about, like something other than electrical um, energy? Obviously. Whatever this is, is not natural so long me. And see all those teeth mark? Like, I don't know how to explain it. it like, why are all those teeth marks there? Like, this is a connected, it looks like massive connections leaving from up to down, up to down, throughout the whole thing. A spiral here, like in Theophilus Crater, that we see uh, the same spiraling. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's on the surface, and it's beautiful. <laughs> I have no idea what it is, but it still is beautiful. All this having been there, I don't know, for some reason, it's just making sense to me. No? Does it not just make sense that it, it's there? But you see all the marks? You see all the bumps there? I'm trying to get as close as I can to show it. Just literally looks like an x-ray eh? of a bone or something. But you see all the um, connections in the center, and that's what's really tripping me. Like, wh why are they connected there? In the center, they reach, they meet. It's like a massive computer, right? When you look at the way these bloody things are connected sometimes. Copernicus Crater. Look at the edge of it on top. I'll get up a circle over the object that I'm talking about. See there? We'll see it an x-ray, sorry, and not too long too, to be able to see that it's a different type of light. It looks like a tower, obviously, but again, off the side, the edge, right? The crater wall and the line of light as the moon phase moves over, I know some of you are tired of me saying it, but for the newcomers, when the moon phase, there is an x-ray. I'll get a circle up over it. When the moon phase moves over that line of light, um, all the structures that I'm finding are along that line of light because the moon gets very revealing when it starts moving over. A full moon, you can't really see the surface. It's just too bright. Here, we can see a surface with, again, certain areas that have particular blurs more than other areas. Are they smoke or hazes? Um, are they even structures? There's some kind of a circular object in there with something in the center. And there's that blur hiding what looks like pipes or something. So could it be smoke coming up from the pipes? This tunnel, look where it goes. It goes to the end there and is covered. Like what? what's covering these tunnel-like objects? I don't know. But I've gathered so much proof looking at the surface. Each crater, if not all of them, are manipulated. That's so easy to see when you start really uh, zooming in. You have to get some clear shots to be able to do this, that's for sure. Obviously, if you don't have any um, clear shots, you're not gonna be able to zoom into them and to really show. But uh, the magnification, guys, when you magnify a picture, it's not grabbing the picture and bringing it all the way in. You know, there's, yes, I magnify the images, but I really do it properly. And I assure you that when I magnify, when I zoom in, 
I just bring you the same picture that you were seeing from further out closer and you're seeing it very, very well. If you're doing it live, obviously, yes, then we would see more and more craters appear. But with the photography, it's not exactly the same. Energy sources. This is one, that's for sure, Southern Highlands. This is in the bottom of the depth of a crater and this light is illuminated. Why is it illuminated? It should not be, you know. The moon is self-illuminated. Something is illuminating it, that's for sure. Um, is that the energy source? Clavius Crater, I got some really nice, amazing shots, some good videos up, really good videos up on close-ups of Clavius Crater, both like this in photography and uh, in some live shots. But the overall general amazement for me is the cloud cover, um, white over top of these craters. Hard to believe, right? Well, these craters are very high, elevated off the surface of the moon. You know, some of these are compared uh, near as high as Mount Everest. I got this picture, the first picture ever of the north side of the moon with my four inch 127 SLT amazing Maxuda telescope. And here's the thing, I can see the screen lines from my technique over top in the beginning and I can see the structuring of objects, natural or not. At first I thought natural, but I still wanted to see them. So I knew there were objects on the north side and I knew there were objects, but I wasn't able to clarify them exactly enough. And the HD from the 14 inch telescope really makes the difference. Thanks to the support that you guys are giving me, I will soon, maybe one day, hopefully, maybe in a year's time or less, who knows, be able to do this full time. And that would permit me to do a lot more work during the evening and to be able to prepare, of course, ahead of time for more videos. But you know what? There's just so much more I got to show. And there are so many different ways of viewing the surface and low angle, 45 degrees, so that we could see the elevation of the topography, everything that's on the surface, the buildings, the structures, natural or not, mountains. There's so many levels on the surface. And all right, to finish off the video, we'll get some music up and I want you guys to notice the color when we zoom in. I'm not going to add it, I'm just gonna zoom in. We don't see it right now. We're not, it, like the exposure is too high here. If it was descended, we'd lose the edge of the moon, but it would be the real colors. And so as we zoom in without adjusting anything, you will see the colors appear. Guys, thanks for watching. And there's, um, I'll get another video up tonight. I'm gonna go start working on it right now. I have some more stuff to show you guys. Thanks for the support.
Ingerstrom, I can't thank you enough from Norway. Hello from Canada for reaching out um, all the way down here and for checking the research. Thanks. You're always welcome. And thanks so much for the generous contributions. I'm looking forward to interact with you in the comment section.